Presbyterian churches. And a very warm welcome. Now, last week, things seemed a bit hopeful. There was talk about the vaccine rolling out and so on. Last night, everything is up in the air. Um, we did get an email last night from Edinburgh and we're able to continue with our plans for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. So up to now, we'll still be able to have the Christmas Eve service in War Battle at half past six on Christmas Eve. Numbers will be restricted. And because of the severity of the, the warning last night, we will be very strict in that. And then Christmas Day here at Vietnam at 11 o'clock. But next Sunday will be in level four. So that means numbers will be even more restricted and will only be allowed 20 people in church. And that would include me, would include Heather, the organ, and so on. We will, we obviously have continued with the podcast and we will be taking the video. So if you're online, maybe the best thing is to look online and access the podcast and the video. Um, we will have a Christmas video. So even over Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Gordon has been filming and we are in the various churches, um, so we're bringing out a video and that will include the primary school children telling the Christmas story. So do look at that and some superb music and things like that. You can sing along the carols <coughs> with the video. Um, so that will come out, that will be posted on the, the website. So everything's up in the air. There will be a meeting of the COVID group for the Church of Scotland tomorrow. And maybe, I don't know if things will change at all, but we just have to play everything by ear um, just now. But hopefully we'll be able to meet over Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and we'll see from there. And anything we'll post on the web page. If you don't have access to the internet, just if you phone either Susan or myself, we'll be able to let you know what's happening. <coughs> um, and also pastoral care. We have had some leeway in visiting. <coughs> we need to visit after Boxing Day. It would only be in extreme circumstances. That I'd be allowed to visit. I think that will be for three weeks, but who knows? Just as I say, everything is up in the air. But anyway, I mentioned Christmas Eve. We're back to 6 30, Christmas Day here at 11 o'clock. That's on Friday, and the video will be out. On Tuesday, we have the last of our. our Advent studies and the link is on the web page. That's Tuesday at seven o'clock. And television, the moderator of General Assembly of the Church of Scotland, he's involved in the the BBC One service at twelve noon on Christmas Day. So you can look at that. You can even come to church here and then go back and put it on the television. And also New Year's Day, I talked about sending in sprigs of rosemary um, to make an artwork, and, and that's going to be revealed on New Year's Day at 12.35. Um, and we'll continue to be open on Wednesday for prayers, but I think after that, I think the following Wednesday, we won't. So, and, oh, there's a card, another card to join this one from the 
for wishing everyone a joyful, peaceful Christmas at the end of a difficult year. From Reverend Colin. Thank you for all the cards I've received. It's, to be honest, I'm, I'm, having been abroad, I got out of the way of sending cards. And it's really, it gets too, too many to send. And I always miss someone out, so I'm just having the one card for everyone. I hope you forgive me on that. So, happy Christmas. We have our call to worship. And this is, is from Christian Aid. Even, and it's maybe appropriate for this, this time, even if not everyone is able to gather in person, Emmanuel, God is this. Even if some Christmas traditions have had to go, Emmanuel, God with us. Even if we might not get a, to hug family and friends, Emmanuel, God with us. Even if we cannot sing carols beside each other, Emmanuel, God with us. And even if Christmas cheer is harder this year, Emmanuel, God with us. But we need a little bit of joy still, so we have joy to the world, 320. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever. This is the fourth Sunday of the Advent, and I'm going to invite Elizabeth to come forward and to light the, the four candles. It's a long match, so hopefully, one of you that will see. In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favoured. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled. 
marvelled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name of Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who was said to be barren is in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible with God. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said. Then the angel left her. Thanks be to God. Thank you, dear Father. The carol 321, come and join the celebration.
Where is God in our particular grief? Or we can open the newspaper or look at our telephone. There's talk about the new strain of COVID. There's the news about these school children snatched away in Nigeria. Though thankfully they've all been found safely. But where is God in all this chaos? Our Advent claim is that God is right there in the middle of the mess with us. And God was in the mess with Mary. Her life was going to be changed completely. There's a picture here of Mary as a, a school when she was very young, reading a book. And that's all going to change completely. Her world was going to turn or be turned upside down with the news that the angel Gabriel was going to, to tell her. But Gabriel says two things. He says, first of all, the Lord is with you. And then he says, do not be afraid. He assured Mary that God was with her so we are assured that God is with us in the mess of what Christmas can sometimes be. Madeline Longle, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, she's an American poet, and she describes the birth of Christ in a messy world. She says, he did not wait till the world was ready, till people and nations were at peace. He came when the heavens were unsteady and prisoners cried out for release. He did not wait for the perfect time. He came when the need was deep and great. Year after year, we gather to hear the story of Jesus' birth, even when the world is not sane. We raise our voices, not this year, song throughout Advent because we know although we know that sorrow and despair and uncertainty are with us love has been birthed into the unmessiness of our world right into the middle of it so if it seems hard to live into the joy of Christmas this year because of all the heavy burdens that we bear because of COVID, because of physical distancing, because of all the various restrictions, God doesn't wait. God doesn't wait until the world is ready or for a perfect time or for a perfect peace. God doesn't wait for the pandemic to end. He doesn't wait for the messes all to be tidied up. God doesn't wait to come to us because Jesus is being born where people need him most. And God makes God's home in the messiest of places, in a stable, in the messiest of times of the Roman Empire. It was a peace, but a peace imposed by violence and threat. And with the most ordinary people, Jesus is being born where we meet him most, in the hard places, in the dark and desperate places, in the lonely places, in the mess. And through the birth of Jesus in Christmas, in the mess of first century Bethlehem, and in the mess of 2020. We are sure that God is with us. And we can proclaim Emmanuel, God is here. God has become one of us. And today we know that God has become one of us and is in the middle of the mess with us. So we can raise our voices for love has come. And for this we can say, Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father.
Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. And the carol, In the Bleak Midwinter, 305. Moment of 
silence, we bring the prayers of our own hearts before God. Hear these and all our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. 